So once we file this bankruptcy, we put everybody on notice. That's why it's so important that we have the good contact information and addresses for everybody. After we file, you know, give them a couple days. If they continue to call you, they can't. That's illegal. And what we'll do is we'll let them know first, hey, you know about the bankruptcy? If they do and they continue to harass you, send you letters, call, insinuate that you owe them a debt, then we can bring a motion in the bankruptcy court for contempt of the bankruptcy stay. Once we file, that stay goes into effect automatically. They call it the automatic stay. It tells creditors that they can't collect this debt outside of bankruptcy. They have to come to the bankruptcy court to vent any claims they may have. There are certain exceptions to the bankruptcy stay. They're pretty rare, and we could talk about it if I think it may come up. But for the most part, they can't continue to harass you. They can't call you. They can't call a friend. They can't call a relative. They can't send you a letter. They can't even look at you the wrong way. They're limited to any remedies they may have under the bankruptcy court. If they do continue, we file that motion. The judges are routinely sanctioning these people for any violations. We'll easily get attorney's fees, and if it's egregious, we could even get punitive damages as well. So rest assured, if they're properly notified and they know about this bankruptcy, they'll stop and they won't continue.